Okay, just keeping the blades turning here and uh, uh, got a little bit more done and so I thought I'd point this out real quick. Um, so I got the U-joint uh, bellows on. I don't know if there's any way you can be able to see it in there, but uh, there's my clamp. And um, I think the, uh, the actual clamping end is down in here somewhere. That was not super easy, but I had I had the whole uh, housing tipped down so I could actually get in there and, and uh, crank down the clamp. That was not as easy as I thought it was going to be. It was actually it was actually pretty tough um, to be able to get that on there, that side on there. Um, so I got that done. And then over here, I want to show you. Right here is the uh, shift cape, um, shift cable bellows, and I want to get this piece here. Where's my piece? Where the heck did my piece go? Where is it? What'd you do with it? Up there? No. Nope. Over here? Oh yeah. Here's with the um, the shift cable bellows. What they give you is this uh, crimp clamp. I can pull it out of this bag. Here's the um, crimp clamp that they give you. Um, I think there's probably a special tool that you need to be able to get that uh, crimped correctly um, around the um, aft side of the shift cable bellows right here. Um, now I, I could not imagine that, that I could get that tight enough all the way around to actually keep water uh, from seeping in. Uh, now a couple guys over in the um, uh, I.O. section, Mercruiser section, suggested a zip tie double wrapped. So huge thanks to those guys. That was an awesome tip. I didn't even think about it until they mentioned that. So I've got a zip tie on there, double wrapped and cranked down, and it's uh, solid. I'm feeling real good about that. I'm glad I, uh, I'm glad uh, that's on there instead of that uh, that crimp. It just didn't make sense to me, but um, that was a great solution. So great tip. So at this point, I am ready to put these two halves together. I'll throw a little grease on these fiber washers, uh, some put some bellows adhesive on the transom side um, uh, for the U-joint bellows. And I'll see if I can get these two halves uh, together. But first, I need to go for a run because I'm kind of flabby. So here's what I get to run in. Check this out. So we got a good, healthy snow over the past couple days. Really, the first of the season. It's been a, a pretty warm winter so far. So this is really the first snow that's actually stuck and stayed with us. It's beautiful. Check out the woods. Just beautiful. Love it. Fresh fallen snow. So I'm going to go for a run. And then I'm going to come back, try to put those two halves together. And then I'm going to take the kids sledding. That'll be sweet. Catch you later.